Get a mouthful of these magnificently marvelous mushroom recipes here on Great yes. Taste of Manitoba. Heather Dybert, what are we going to do next? This one's cool. Okay, the theme of the show is mushrooms going with the grain. Right. So our second recipe is a creamy mushroom and barley pilaf. Excellent. Which is a side dish. Uh, for this particular recipe, you um, we're going to use pearl barley. You can use pot barley, but I chose to use pearl. It's a nice uh, creamier color. It's a lighter color, and it cooks more quickly because the bran has been removed. Okay. So it's actually a little more quicker to cook. Um, so what we're going to do is basically you get a saucepan going with some butter margarine, and uh, we've got some shallots that oh, I've got nice. cooking in there, which is a cross sort of, it's in the onion garlic family, but it's a much milder onion. It's a really nice flavor in this recipe. So you get that going, just saute that very lightly. Um, and then basically it's a one pot dish because you're going to put everything into the saucepan and let it cook. So we're going to start with um, three cups of vegetable broth. Great. So I'll just very carefully add that in. Okay, and the barley, the barley. and I this is barley. one cup. So it's a three to one ratio when you're cooking barley, um, three cups of broth or water okay. to the barley. And to add a little bit of nice season flavoring, we've got two tablespoons of sherry. Interesting. Yeah, and that gives it uh, a really nice mild but sweet okay. flavor to the recipe. Um, in this particular recipe, we are gonna be using the shiitake mushroom. Now, the mm -hmm. shiitake mushroom, yes. which is Delicious, and that's an understatement. Also, is the there's the shiitake is the only mushroom where you do what? The only mushroom that we encourage or we recommend that you remove the stem. It is quite woody, and so we do recommend that you remove it before you um, slice it up and cook it in anything. All the other mushrooms are fine. You can use the stem. So basically, all you do is once you've washed them, is just wiggle the stem back and forth and then twist and pull. Nice. That yeah. is going to be, everyone, yeah. Yeah. your teachable moment. Shiitake mushrooms yes. remove stem. Yes. Okay. And they're so good for you too, these. They're very good for yeah. you and they have a wonderful flavor. So these actually go into the broth uncooked and they cook in the broth and all the flavoring from the shiitake goes right into the broth. Oh, and gives it, us were we using this thing or is that? This is a mushroom brush and this you can uh, use to clean the mushrooms. So oh, you yeah, just give them a little brush, any other growing medium that's on them. Uh, if you don't have a mushroom brush, you can just rinse them very lightly under cold water. We don't recommend that you soak them in water because they act like a sponge and just soak up all the water. Hey, are you a yeah. um, mycologist? A uh, home economist? Mycologist. No. You know what that is? A mycologist mm. is someone that knows a lot about mushrooms. So I'm going to say yes, you are. Okay, yes that's I am. That's an actual word, by the way. Google it. Mycologist. Yeah, nice. you're a mycologist okay. now. Excellent. Put it on your card. <laughs> and so in this, we've got the broth, and now we're going to add the two cups of sliced shiitake mushrooms. Yes. And again, they just go right in there. And they will cook, they will, uh, they will actually soften up slightly, of course, and they will shrink a bit. I like as that it's cook. all in one pot. All one pot, all your flavoring, everything in there. So at this point, you want to bring it up to the boil, mm -hmm. and then you want to reduce it to a simmer for about 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, and then we It get... ends up looking like this. Yes. Can you get on, on that? I mean, it looks delicious. I love mushrooms, and the barley is going to be... Yeah, that's a good-looking dish. Yes. All right, but then we're not done. Not quite done. We are going no. to do what? So at this point, we're going to add some extra flavorings to it, just to jazz it up a bit and just to uh, burst it with flavor. Okay. So we have a quarter cup of Parmesan shavings. That shavings. We're going shavings, yes. Just sprinkle? And I find, yep. Liberally? Liberally, yeah. And again, we're gonna mix that in because at this oh, okay. point it is hot and it is going to melt the Parmesan cheese. Yep. Yeah. So that goes in and then we have a quarter cup of dried cranberries or nice. craisins. And we also have some fresh thyme. Excellent. And we're just going to, all you do is basically take it right off the stem and just move your fingers right down the stem and add the fresh thyme and that gives a wonderful flavor. And you just stir oh, that in. A good dish. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And that becomes your... What would you, if you were serving this at a dinner party at Heather's house, mm. you would serve this, like what would you... I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna overshadow <laughs> some of your mains, it is. It will go with any main. Yes, any of your mains, it's a wonderful side dish for any of the that mains. That is great. Yeah. I'm going to try it. All right. Please, can I? Yes, definitely. Yes. The world's smallest spoon. Mmm. 
That is incredible, Heather. Good. Well done. Yep. All right, we are um, going with the grain with the Manitoba mu mushroom growers, and we're going to do uh, a mushroom salad using quinoa. Yes. That's next. Yes.